My name is Mehanta. I am account and finance trainer from Uplex. Today we will discuss house rent allowance. This is one of the important allowance under the salary head. So in this class we will discuss what is house rent allowance, what is HRA and the calculation of HRA means how we will calculate such amount of allowance. So now we will discuss house rent allowance section 10 subsection 13a section 10 subsection 13a HRA is a special allowance. This is a special allowance. House rent allowance is a special allowance which is which is given which is given by the employer to his employee. Is that the HRA is a special allowance which is specifically granted which is specifically granted to an employee by his employer is that there should be the relationship between both the parties one party should be employer and one party should be employed means the relationship of employee and employer should be there if there is no relationship between the parties, for the example, there are two persons, Mr. Ram and Shyam. Mr. Ram, he is working in the organization of Shyam. And Shyam is paying the amount of salary or amount of wages to Mr. Ram. So there is the relationship between Ram and Shyam. There is a relationship of employee and employer between Ram and Shyam. Then such provision will be applicable because it is granted by the employer to the employee. So the relationship of employer and the employee is mandatory. It is mandatory. It is granted to an employee to his by his employer towards the payment of rent for the residence of the employee this is an amount or this is an allowance which is given by the employer to his employees towards the towards the payment of rent towards the payment of rent for the example Mr. Ram, he is the employee of Mr. Shyam. He is working in Agra. He is working in Agra. Means the organization of Shyam is in Agra. He is living in a house. Means it is a rented house. And Mr. Ram, he is paying the amount of rent of rupees 8,000. Mr. Ram, he is living in a rented house and he is paying the amount of rent of rupees 8,000 rupees per month. 8,000 rupees per month. So, this, so, the employer means Mr. Shyam, he will grant such allowance. He will grant such HRE towards the payment of such rent. Towards the payment of such rent. So the HRA is a special allowance. It is a special grant which is given or which is granted by the employer to his employee towards the payment of rent. Towards the payment of rent. HRA house rent is house rent allowance granted to an employee is exempted the house rent allowance which is 
given by the employer to the employee is exempted it is not taxable in the hands of employee but but least of the firm means we will calculate hr and least of the following amount will be exempted total fully amount may not be exempted means on the basis of calculation we will calculate the amount of hr we will calculate amount of house rent allowance and such least amount will be exempted so there are three condition means there are three points and on the basis of which we will calculate hr in the case of metro cities there are four metro cities delhi mumbai kolkata and chennai there are four metro cities delhi mumbai kolkata and chennai so in the case of metro city in the case of metro city the condition is the first and in the case of other than metro city means non metro city the points are different is that in the case of metro city the first point is hra actually received for the relevant period the first the first amount will be the amount of hra the amount of house rent allowance which is actually received which is actually received from the employers means the amount which is actually received in the name of hr in the name of hr means the amount which is given by shyam to mr ram as house rent allowance this is the first point the next point is rent paid rent paid minus 10% of salary for the relevant period rent paid the rent which is paid by mr ram is 8000 rupees so the rent paid minus 10% of salary 10% of salary number third point 50% of salary 50% of salary for the relevant period for the relevant period this is for the metro city means in the metro cities we will calculate the amount of hra we will calculate the amount of hra by these following three points and whichever is lower whichever is least will be considered as hr house rent allowance in the case of non metro city means in the case of cities other than delhi mumbai kolkata chennai the hra will be calculated number 1 the point is hra actually received for the relevant period amount of hra which is actually received from the employer point number 2 rent paid minus 10% of salary rent paid minus 10% of salary these two point are same but in the third point in the case of metro city the rate is 50% of salary but in the case of non metro city it is 40% of salary it is 40% of salary in the case of metro city it is 50% of salary but in the case of non metro cities it is 40% of salary 40% of salary so on the basis of these three points we will calculate the amount of house rent allowance and whichever is lower whichever is least will be considered as house rent allowance we will discuss it by the example for the example the amount of basic salary means the salary is a Fifty thousand rupees per month. Okay, and the amount of rent paid, 
amount of rent paid is eight thousand rupees per month, and HRE means house rent allowance received. House rent allowance received. It is five thousand rupees per month, and the place is which is Agra. Means it is other than metro city. The amount of salary is fifty thousand rupees per month. The amount of rent paid is eight thousand rupees per month. HRE received. Is five thousand rupees per month, and the place is Agra, which is other than metro cities. So, what will be the amount of HRE? So, the house rent allowance will be number one condition is actual HRE received. Actual H. Are received. It is fifty. It is actual HRE received. It is five thousand rupees per month. Then five thousand into twelve. It is sixty thousand rupees per annum. Sixty thousand rupees per annum. The second condition is rent paid minus. Ten percent of salary rent paid minus ten percent of salary. So the amount of rent paid is eight thousand rupees per month. Is it eight thousand into twelve ninety six thousand and the ten percent of salary salary is. The salary is fifty thousand into twelve into ten percent of salary. Ten percent of salary. It is sixty thousand. So the rent paid minus ten percent of salary. So the rent paid is ninety six thousand and the Ten percent of salary is sixty thousand. It is thirty six thousand. According to the second point, the amount of HRE should be thirty six thousand. The third point is forty percent of salary in the case of non metro cities. In the case of non metro cities, the amount should be forty percent. If it is, if it is. Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai. Then it will be fifty percent of salary, but it should be forty percent of salary. So the salary is fifty thousand rupees per month. Fifty thousand rupees into twelve. Into forty percent, it is two lakh forty thousand. So it is two lakh forty thousand. So whichever is least, whichever is least, so it is thirty six thousand rupees. Means the HRE house rent allowance will be. Thirty-six thousand rupees only. Thirty-six thousand rupees only. If it is not Agra, it is Delhi. So such amount will be changed because the third point is fifty percent of salary. Fifty percent of salary. So the salary is fifty thousand rupees into twelve. In two fifty percent, it will be three lakh rupees. It will be three lakh rupees. So the answer will remain same because least of the following. 
because least of the following. So in the same case, so in this case, the amount of HRA will be thirty-six thousand. The amount of HRA will be thirty-six thousand rupees. So. So we have discussed what is the HRA and the condition relating to HRA means how we will calculate the house rent allowance. How we will calculate these three amounts and how we will identify which is the least and the least amount will be exempted. Least amount will be exempted. The balance amount will be cash will be taxable. So there are some notes we will discuss some notes. These all notes are very much important in the respect of house rent allowance. Number first note is exemption is not available to an assessee who lives in his own rent. Sorry, in own how such exemptions means the exemption of hra the exemption of house rent allowance is not available to the person who are living in his own house in his own house for the example mr e he is working in a organization in delhi city in delhi city and he is living in his own house. He is living in his own house. There is the relationship between A and organization. Means they are employee and employer. First condition is satisfied. Employer and employee relationship should be there. But Mr. A, he is not living in a rented house. He is living in his own house. So the exemption of HRE, the exemption of HRE is not available to A because, because he is in own house. He is not in rented house. He is not in rented house. He is living in own house. Or in a house for which he has not incurred the expenditure of rent means he is living in a house he is living in a house in which he is not paying he is not paying any amount of rent he is not paying any amount of rent is that he should be if there is any employee and he wants house rent allowance exemption, then there is a condition that he should be in rented house. He should not live in own house. If he is lives in his own house, he lives in his own house, then such exemption is not available or he is living any other property and where he is not required to pay rent then HRE is not allowed not available for the example Mr. A he is living in his sister's house Mr. A he is the employee of our organization in Delhi and he is living in his sister's house in the Delhi so he is not required to pay any amount of rent to his sister. He is not required to pay any amount of rent to his sister. So in this case, there is no expenditure. There is no expenditure in the respect of rent. There is no expenditure in the respect of rent. So such HRA allowance means such HRA exemption is not available. Exemption is not available. It is available only when the employee lives in the rented house or he is paying the amount of rent or he is paying the amount of rent. 
second point salary for this purpose means salary for the purpose means when we will calculate hre so the amount of salary will be the salary will be basic salary and dns allowance basic salary plus da is equal to salary for the calculation of hre salary for the purpose of hre will be basic salary plus dns allowance if provided in the term of employment and commission and commission as a fixed percentage of turn if provided in the term of employment and commission if there is a commission as fixed if there is any amount of commission which is provided by the employer to the employee and it is fixed and it is according to the term of employment then it will be included then it will be included otherwise the amount of salary for the calculation of hre will be it to will be basic salary plus dns allowance it will be basic salary and the amount of dns allowance third point relevant period means relevant period means the period during which the said accommodation was occupied by the assessee during the previous year means the hre exemption is available only for the those period only for the those period during which during which the accommodation means the said rented accommodation is occupied by the assessee for example mr ram he is living in a rented house for the period of 10 months not for the whole year only for the period of 10 months then the exemption of only 10 months is, is allowed means the relevant period is only 10 months not whole year it is a only 10 months not for the whole year so the relevant period is the period which is which is means it is the the relevant period is during which the said accommodation the said rented property is occupied it is occupied by the assessee if it is occupied for the period of 2 months then exemption is available only for the 2 months if it is occupied for the 10 months then such exemption is available for 10 months if it is occupied for the whole year for a whole 12 year so sorry for 12 months for the whole 12 months then it will be available for the 12 months means the relevant period is depend upon your upon the employees on the employee occupation so these are the some notes some important points some important points if he is living in his own house or in any other house where he is not required to pay any rent then such exemption is not available number 2 the basic sorry the salary for the hra exemption is basic salary plus dns allowance if commission is fixed or as per the terms of employment then it will be included and number 3 is relevant period for the hre exemption is the period during which said rented house or such accommodation was occupied by the employee so now we will discuss it by the way of example we will discuss it by the way of example basic salary means basic pay is 40000 rupees per month basic pay is 40000 rupees per month dns allowance is 6000 rupees per month dns allowance is 6000 rupees per month and the commission is 50000 rupees per annum it is per annum 
it is per annum basic salary or the basic pay is 40000 rupees per annum dns allowance is 6000 rupees per month salary 40000 rupees per month dns allowance is 6000 rupees per month commission is 50000 rupees per annum motor car for personal use motor car for personal use expenses meet by the employee sorry meet by the employer means the motor vehicle or the motor car is provided by the employer to the employee and the expenses which are relating to such motor vehicle or such motor car will be borne by the employer expenses related to such motor car for the personal use is not is not paid by the employee it is borne by the employer only which is 1500 rupees per month which is 1500 rupees per month and the amount of hr hr which is received is 15000 rupees per month 15000 rupees per month so on the basis of this there is a requirement to find out the amount of hr which is eligible for the exemption to mr rajkumar on the basis of this we are required to calculate the amount of hra exemption to mr rajkumar assuming that assuming that the amount of rent which is paid by him is 16000 rupees per month means the rent paid by him mr rajkumar is paying the amount of rent is 16000 rupees per month for this accommodation at kanpur at kanpur it is not a metro city means the rent paid is a 16000 rupees per month and the it is not a metro city dns allows form part of salary for retirement benefit dns allows form part of salary for the retirement benefit so these are the this is the question and on the basis of such we will calculate the amount of hra exemption amount of hra exemption so first we will discuss a note we will calculate a note means we will discuss a note how to calculate the amount of hra according to the such provision the exemption will be least of the three limits there are three limits there are three limits and the hra exemption is required to be calculated it is required to be calculated on the basis of these three limits and the hra exemption amount will be least of the following so the first point is first point was actual rent paid actual rent paid sorry actual amount received actual amount received actual amount it is so the amount of hra which is received by mr rajkumar from from the employer is 15000 rupees per month 15000 rupees per month 15000 rupees per month so the actual amount of hra received is 180000 15000 into 12 months it will be 118000 it will be 118000 rupees this is the first limit the second point of limit is the second point is rent paid minus 10% of salary rent paid minus 10% of salary rent paid minus 10% of salary so the amount of rent paid is according to the question the rent is 16000 rupees 16000 rupees per month so the total rent is 16000 rupees 
into 12. 16,000 into 12. 16,000 rupees into 12 months. It is 1,92,000 rupees. Minus 10% of salary. 10% of salary. So the salary is basic plus DNS allowance. Basic plus DA. Basic plus DA. So the basic amount is basic salary or basic pay is 40,000 plus DA is 6,000 rupees. And, and 12 months. The total amount is 5,52,000 rupees. And the 10% is 55,200 55,200 rupees commission will not be included because it if it is according to the employment terms then will it will be included otherwise no so we will assume that it is not according to the terms so 10 percent of salary is 55,200 55,200 so the rent paid minus 10% of salary will be total rent paid for the whole year is 1,92,000 minus 10% of salary is one is 55,200 rupees. So the amount will be 1,36,800 1,36,800 rupees. The third point is third point is 40% of salary because the accommodation in is in Kanpur, not in the metro cities. If it is in metro cities, if it is in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, then the amount will be, then the amount and the rate will be 50%. But it is in non-metro cities. It is in non-metro cities. So it will be 40% of salary. It will be 40% of salary. So the salary is Basic pay 40,000 plus DNS allowance is 6,000. Means 46,000 into 12 months into 40%. Into 40%. So it will be 2,20,800 rupees. 2,20,800 rupees is that 40,000 rupees is the amount of basic. Plus 6,000 is the DNS allowance. 46,000 into 12 months into 12 months into 40 percent which is 2,20,800 rupees 2,20,800 rupees it is a 40 percent of basic salary so these are the three limits these are the three limits these are the three limits and the hra exemption will be least of the following hra exemption will be least of the following so the least amount will be so the least amount will be according to first point it is 180000 according to second point it is 136800 and according to the third point it is 220800 so the least amount will be 136800 136800 so the hra exemption is 136800 rupees So, the, now we will calculate what will be the taxable amount because the HRA receipt, it should be taxable, but there is the exemption, HRA exemption. So, the net amount of HRA which will be taxable in the hands of Rajkumar, total amount of HRA received is, total amount of HRA received is, 15,000 into 12. Monthly HRE received is 15,000 and for the year is 1,80,000. Less the amount of HRE exemption, the amount which is exempted under section 10, subsection 13A, means the amount which is exempted as House rent allowance. It is it is one lakh thirty six thousand eight hundred, which is already discussed. 
so the hra which is taxable will be 43200 rupees means hra which is taxable in the hands of rajkumar it will be 43200 it will be 43200 house rent allowance which is taxable in the hands of rajkumar is 43200 such a note is already discussed so on the basis of such discussion we have we have understand how to calculate how to determine the amount of hra exemption the amount of hra exemption according to such discussion there are certain there are three limits number 1 hra received number 2 rent paid minus 10% of salary and number 3 is 50% of salary in the case of metro city delhi mumbai kolkata chennai and 40% in the case of non metro city so on the basis of these three limits we will calculate the amount of hra we will calculate the amount of exemption of hra and such amount will be exempted and the balance amount of hra if any then it will be taxable under the head of salary it will be taxable under the head of salary so thank you so much for watching this video and to understand what is hra and how to calculate the exemption of hra thank you so much bye bye and have a nice day